Hold on to the sticky fingers, folks, because we're diving into the surprising saga of cotton candy, your childhood delight that recently caused a stir in India, especially in Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, where the sales have been banned. So what turned this fluffy pink cloud into a potential health hazard? Can this sweet treat actually be bad for you? And why has it been banned in a few states in India? Let's dig into those details. Cotton candy, or popularly known as Budia Ke Bal, has been banned in Tamil Nadu by the government as of February 17, stating that it is a health hazard. According to the several reports, the Chennai Food and Safety Department has raided various cotton candy stalls at the Marina Beach and collected the samples which had traces of rhodamine B, prompting for these bans. It is the second state after Pondicherry to ban this tasty treat. Now, commercially produced cotton candy uses approved ingredients like sugar, corn syrup and food colouring. The problem arises when harmful chemicals like rhodamine B are added. Sounds scary, right? But what exactly is rhodamine B? Now, imagine pouring a bright pink colour magic potion into a river and then magically tracking its journey downstream. That's basically what rhodamine B does. This cool dye isn't meant for your clothes or candy. But scientists use it to trace water flow. It glows under special tools, making it seen easily when the water goes on flowing, helping the scientists understand things like pollution or even how the river carves its path. Rhodamine B is an organic chloride salt and a xanthine dye that is widely used for several biotechnological applications. Rhodamine B disrupts the delicate balance of a free radical in our bodies, leading to oxidative stress. This damages cells and can contribute to various health problems. Studies in animals show that significant impact on liver, kidney and even the brain after chronic exposure to rhodamine B. While human research is still ongoing, the potential for similar effects is concerning. The big worry though is that research suggests a link between rhodamine B and the increasing risk of cancer, particularly in the liver and the stomach. The World Health Organization classifies it as a possible carcinogenic risk to humans. So how did this dye end up in our cotton candy? Unfortunately, some vendors have been found using it in order to enhance its vibrant pink colour despite being illegal. Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry authorities found traces of rhodamine B in the samples, prompting them to go on and ban cotton candy. Reputable manufacturers follow those strict regulations and use safe ingredients. The ban is to target the illegal production and sales and not these individual possessions. So that's the inside scoop on cotton candy and its recent ban. Do stay informed, choose wisely and keep enjoying those sweet treats but safely. Do like, share and subscribe to Money Control's YouTube channel for more such content.